channel is in present assalamualaikum hope guys are doing well so welcome to the next episode of the journey in my bag so i hope you guys enjoy the previous episode today we have another guest of mine from my secondary school uh, uh, who is my secondary school friend so today we're going to talk more about her experience so without further ado let's meet our guest for today and if you guys like similar content like this make sure to subscribe and give this video a huge thumbs up so let's meet our guest for today okay guys so welcome so today here is our next guest which is tara <laughs> okay so tara would you like to share a bit more about yourself like what course are you in IT right now so this, um, I'm in chemical process technology year two this year. So like summary of like what is chemical process technology? You know what is that? The first okay, I admit I did make a mistake before joining this. You know in my head chemical, you think oh like science related, you know chemical process technology science related. Then I really wanted to join a pharmaceutical course, but then it's not available in ITE. So from reading. Um, all the different courses I thought like oh this is the one that's like closest to a pharmaceutical course in a way but then once I got into the course itself once I started school it was like a whoa a whole new thing like, this is not what I was expecting so my course uh, we have to learn about plant process and equipment you know about the petrochemical industry something like that oh. or bio biopharmaceutical process we also have practical lessons. Practical lessons were uh, fine la, in a way. Mm-hmm. Because from you can learn from what you see, you know. It's yeah, easier right. than instead of like, writing down mm. and stuff. So of course, of course the practical sessions were very useful, you know. It gives me like at least like an insight of what was taught. And then you do hands-on as well. So at least you can apply to what you're gonna write down during theory lessons as well. So and then in our classrooms we have like Miniature, how did I say miniature? Like miniature sizes of, for example, like a tank or Ooh. a pump. The ones that, for like example, you see in you know, a Jurong Island. Mm. Jurong Island is actually the home of petrochemical industries or like the heart of chemical and energy industry, right? So this is all the stuff that you have in school. It's like all the miniature mm. sizes. It's something that we'll learn in real life, something like that. But it's just very small uh, equipments and stuff. It's difficult, of course, because there's a lot of like safety procedures that we have to learn. And yeah, at first we think like, oh, just open this, uh, we call it a valve, which is like an opening to like a chemical or something mm-hmm. through a pipe. Okay. It's called a valve. But it's like kind of like a switch line in a way. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, just this. And you see like, and the way you see it, it's just like a normal looking plant or tank. Then when you really get into it, you're just like, so complicated. Oh my God so many things you have to open so many things you have to close because sometimes we learn about water diesel and gas this is like mm. the main three things that we kind of touch in our course so imagine like if you're going to like real life right these three things are like very important to our daily lives right now right so if something happens at like the industry if you do something wrong surely there's going to be like a big explosion or an mm. accident something like that right so of course we have to learn this kind of stuff in class and our teachers are very strict about it also, especially when we do mm. uh, practical lessons. Because they'll be like, are you sure? Are you sure you opened this one? Are you sure you have to close that one? So yeah, they're very strict about practical. But other than that, they're like very fun teachers. Uh, not teachers, lecturers. <laughs> mm. Then how many modules do you guys go through like in a semester? So every semester, we have four modules, four to five mm. modules. Um, like as you know, semester is like half a year, right? Yeah. So four to five modules, and then it's some some are similar, same modules, but then all oh, we learn like different topics and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm. Then I think for last year, one of my semester was internship. It's just like the whole semester was internship. So that one also was graded. That whole semester was graded. Just internship for six months. That felt like. <laughs> Honestly, that felt like hell, you know. You're like finally stepping into the human society. It's like, oh my god. It's just <laughs> one of the downsides. Yeah, one of the downsides of going internship outside is like your grades are in someone else's hands. It's not a lecturer, mm. you see. 
So I think yeah, like whatever you do, like even your supervisor, your supervisor is the one grading you. So that was one of the downsides of it. Like they cannot really see your full potential as in in class instead. So yeah, that was one of the. But but there was a lot of fun stuff lah to learn, get new learn, get uh learn new knowledge. But other than that, yeah, that was just the downside of it. Uh, okay, so okay, so apart from your um, internship uh, or your attachment experience, like how many people are there? Like, is it like the whole class goes to the same attachment site, or you get to pick your attachment site? Okay, so for my class, which is what I know, uh, for this particular company, me and another classmate and two more people from another class went. Because some mm. companies, they have requirements, how many students they want, what gender, that kind of thing. I think mm. they apply more on gender because of the industry itself. Mm. It's very like male-dominated industry. Just saying, okay, <laughs> it's facts. It's very male-dominated. So yeah, it's like me and three other guys for like one company. And then there was some, like, I think it's less than half my class that went for internship outside. They, mm. some of them, and then the rest, yeah, the rest did intern internship in school. Uh, of course, like those who went outside, we get paid lah. Those who did internship in school didn't. That's oh my like, god, yeah. that's like a disadvantage, and... but. <laughs> 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 so moving on, so I wanted to ask, how is life like being a student, especially in ITE or taking up a course in ITEC? Uh, of course, like, when I first started ITE, you know, you get this stereotype about mm. ITE itself, like, oh, yeah. it's the end. It's like, there's yeah. a very bad, there's a very bad stereotype going around. But once I entered, right, you know, people would say, oh my god, the place is filled with like, the so-called like, gangster or whatever. Mm. Then of course, you feel like, wow, pressured, you know. But once you enter, right, it's more of the, if you don't mess with them, they won't mess with you kind of thing. So of course, like, that was like out of my head already, you know. Then, when you go there, yes, like, like, not say like-minded but people who understand you better because you all like go there with like it's not it's like a, a new life a new like mm. study life you know new people so of course you, you all start out at the same pace and everyone is like here lost and all don't know what to do and of course that's I think like one of the reasons like we got to bond easily mm. and then also like like they just the casual conversation like Oh, how do you even get the ITE? You know, like somebody like oh, because I didn't like math, or <laughs> some is just like, uh, some is just like oh, I just took this course or like I just yeah, I just took this course for the sake of it and stuff. And yeah, like, it's it's fun la. Like, and even like in night tech, it's not like high night tech. Night tech, right? Mm. I have class. I one of my classmates is twenty five years old. Oh, wow! I have a few classmates who are over twenty. Yeah. So yeah, that that's like I was like really shocked like it. Wait, you guys are over 20 then? How are you here? Then yeah, I get to learn from different people in a way that like some of them, oh, they have a different career path to take. Mm. And then they wanted to come here. And I was like, ooh, okay. Damn. That's interesting. That's people interesting. Over 20, huh? so, so how is your timetable like at school? Like what's your, I would say, kind of typical day? How is it like as mm. a student? So now, because like of COVID, we, because of the COVID situation, right, we rotate. So one week is HBL and then another mm-hmm. week is like we come to school physically. But then right for my class, because it's quite a big class, uh, but I think it applies to all also. Like we separated to two groups. Ooh. So like that yeah, there's group one and group two. So group one, for example, like not I just not explain right the those miniature plants. Mm, yeah. Group one, yeah, group one would do this one and then group two would do another one. Or like Ooh. sometimes we arrive school late or come school earlier that kind of thing so like just to prevent us from mingling around la. but yeah that, yeah that's for now like before we just had school every single day that kind of thing mm. what's yeah. like what so time you guys like, usually end like what's the rough timing so we usually end around five that's like the, the basic la. we end around we end around five then for good days I think like Friday for me yeah Friday <laughs> Friday you only have like a two hour class like for oh. my group only. well I heard from Louise as yeah. well she also had only yeah. two hour class on Fridays you guys are so yeah. good you know <laughs> like yeah for my group just only like a two hour practical and then go home 
It's so nice. But, yeah, but okay, but the downside right is um because my school is at the east side and I live and at the west. <laughs> Okay, okay, so there are last question. What is one thing that you like to tell the audience or anyone who's watching right now about the misconceptions about being an ITE and picking up a course in NITEC? So, uh, yeah, my first, when I first taught NITEC, right, two years, I then like, wow, if I don't, if I didn't get a good GPA for NITEC, that means I have to go to high NITEC. Then you feel like, wow, another like four years, so you have to stay in mm. for four years, same like secondary school, you know, four years, four years. And then, of course, uh, the thought of, well, once I go to poly after high NITEC, that means I'll be like, what, 20? You know, that kind of thought goes into you. But I feel that uh, once you go to NITEC and you learn about stuff, you're actually gaining more knowledge in school-wise and also like the real world, like industry-wise. So, in a way, we're more of like work, let's say, like more knowledgeable about mm-hmm. the industry itself and work life in general. So like gaining all this knowledge, you know, it's not bad, I guess. But of course, there's like downsides uh, about the GPA, the whole GPA thing. There's like downsides mm. about it. And then one misconception is that people think that ITE graduates don't go like far in life, that mm. kind of thing. Yeah, it's true. Or like they say like university, like local universities don't accept ITE graduates and stuff. Yes. But there's this. Yeah, it's stupid. I, wait. Can I can I say that? Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> oh yeah, it's like it's so dumb man. Like some people they just say it, even though they haven't like experienced IT itself. Like, mm-hmm. they just say it because they see like how the students are like in public. You know, they just say it. they just they didn't even experience the ITE life in general. But there's this like new program called work study diploma. Where oh, yes, I you, it. yeah, w- yeah, work study diploma where you can go for a diploma while working mm-hmm. and then from then on you then after you get the diploma right you can go to a local university like this diploma is recognized by local universities as well so mm-hmm. of course that's like another pathway for you to follow as well <laughs> okay Tara uh, do you have any like last switch or anything you'd like to share to them uh Jayo, <laughs> if you're applying, <laughs> if you're applying for ITE, it's okay. Don't don't like don't think about the bad side about it, like, Even mm-hmm. though like you know, people people nowadays they still haven't changed. You know, they still haven't changed about like the thought of ITE yet. Just just go. If you really feel like ITE is the one for you, where it's like it's following your coping, the way you like you cope with studies, like it's at a slower pace. If you think that's the way for you, then go. Go. <laughs> yes, go go for it. Don't don't think of don't, like, don't but, think don't think of like other things or like age or whatever. Don't think just go. Just <laughs> There's go. a lot of people with different ages there. So yeah, don't worry. Go okay. guys. <laughs> okay, so that's all. Thank you so much, Tara, for your time, sharing more about your experiences. And if you guys have any questions regarding Tara's course or NITEC in general, just comment down below and then <laughs> Tara will share more about her thoughts. So comment down below. <laughs> or you can personally DM her at the Instagram account. So I'll just link it down in the description <laughs> box. So that's all. Thank you so much, Tara, for your time. Bye bye. Make sure to like and subscribe, guys. Yes, like and subscribe. That's the correct one. Like and subscribe.